Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, a 5.0 early access update. <clears throat> Ashes to Embers, in which we're playing as a kingdom of Manitoba, formerly the Duchy of Langenburg. But we gotta talk about the Pearl of Lake Winnipegosis. Breathtaking, well developed, and perfectly positioned to become a hub for a kingdom's eastern frontier. With just a bit of elbow grease, Summer Court could become a true jewel in a crown. And you walked on his new bulwark. Or let me the seats are now empty. Long some nights leave a desire to relive the past, something ancient which no longer exists, yet for its lack of existence, as it once was, the memories linger. Surely you'll agree that that would be best, my friend. Viscount O'Brien paced up and down the royal hall, Yorkton's words visibly irking the cruel tyrant. I simply want to caution, my lord. I don't have enough men to keep hundreds of civilians safe. Yorkton barked, bark, barked back almost instantly. I fail to see the issue. I've offered you a blank check to see this project through to the end. Arms and coppers, you have it. You walked up to the Viscount. I trust you can keep a record of your expenses, yes? I was in the impression of your lifestyle, caught for some accounting skills. O'Brien did, did not dare lock eyes with the king. As you wish, my lord. When can I expect the first batch of settlers to arrive? You have to sat back in his throne. They should start flocking in over the coming weeks. I am sending some officials from Dauphin to organize a ferry service from your end. Promise some decent accommodation. I trust you shall deliver. O'Brien murmured under his breath. Of course, my lord. With that, the fallen warlord shuffled out of the throne room. Yorkton leaned back in his chair. Even a wild beast could be put on its place when threatened with a large enough stick, um, the king thought to himself. Then what better way to domesticate those hanger-ons than, than making them live alongside the salt of the earth, Manitobans? The good Viscount will learn to heal. Oh, they absolutely will. And as you can see, we are starting to get ready to go to war with the good old people at Coover. We've taken out the Pass Keepers, which is very nice. And, uh, yeah. We also annexed Abog. So, there's that. But we still have their little effects here, too, so... Overall, not bad. Not too shabby at all. What else here? Um, honestly, we've got so much research done, it's not funny. What do we got here? Ah, rocket launchers, even though we're not really even going to use them. But yeah, we're looking pretty thick. Pretty huge. And we're still trying to get, up ready, get ready for a war against the Great Khans and whatnot, so... Um, yeah. San Francisco actually did fantastic. The Sun Chicago destroying the new NCR, and well, Landis is looking pretty huge. Not gonna lie, they're pretty, pretty thick, pretty thickums. So in the meantime, we're gonna go and stop training these guys for now. Get ready for them to go to war, and get a couple more focuses because this is the last episode here in this campaign. Fantastic, fantastic focus tree, by the way. The next big step, that night felt unusually cold, and we're going to try to go for the new age for Manitoba. Father will forever be remembered for bringing our nation back from the brink of collapse, but with immediate threats to its survival dealt with, and the economy humming along once more, it's only right that we make the most of his newfound prosperity to secure a safe and more pro peaceful future for both ourselves and the North. An untold story, huh? I mean, I'd love to do these, but they just seem like they're not going to happen anytime soon. Story will be dude remains untold for now. So... I assume it's not worthwhile going down that route, because you only have half the focus as you can do. Because after these guys, we're going to take out uh, Broken Ghost. We could just go to War of the Brotherhood. That actually might be more fun. Yeah, the Brotherhood would probably be more fun. Oh, hello. Why do I have you here? Yes. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, they're allied together. Oh, okay. Interesting. That'd be one heck of a big old war. That's alright. Cool. Get bolts. Very nice. Monochrome Memories. The old summer court, even in its decrepit state, was a familiar sight to the Lord, having been brought here several times as a child by his dad and Sophie, when the dukes and nobles still mingled with each other. While almost all of the buildings now has collapsed, the chairs of these once great families remain. The seat of Anga, the Anga family, the richest of them all, and by their side the oldest seat of the dukes of Dolphin, the once renowned masters of our seats. On the opposite side of the house of Warwick, the masters of the machine, which seat remained vacant for all so long. In the middle of the king's seat, and that of the court's own family Absalom, those who all put us together. Every seat except that of Langenberg now remains empty, and those times, with cheer and joy from one stretch of past, will likely never return. With all the rest of them having fallen, when Yorkton was little, the Duke of, uh, the old Duke of Dauphin would smuggle him candy while the younger took him out to play. The young Duchess of Angers could take a, would take him boating, and while Lord Absalom would show off his new toys. The commemoration of the past was only stopped by one of the soldiers concerned for what if remains of the building would collapse on them. With the soldiers' concerns, they were ordered to go outside so the last a moment could be had at this place where they all once been. Your sacrifices, all of you, and the blood we have shed, and I will continue to shed, will not have been in vain. Fantastic. Doing alright here? What is the air superiority like? Not good enough. 60? 30? 46? 70 some? Still not ideal. We could do better. Seven divisions encircled? We could do better. Oh. 
sure. We'll do that one. Why not? Why not? Another division? Good. We're gonna need them. Light signals. Very good. 200 some losses. Oh, we called it in Nathan's Watchman. Oh, whatever. It's fine, they're not even here. Pursuit. A man or a state. The Yorkton woke in the dead of night, drenched in a cold sweat and gasping for error as uh, he wrestled away his tangled bedsheets. So he staggered over to the window pane, looking over the palace courtyard, gazing into the wa dark waters of the lake on the horizon as he recovered his breath. It was a dream again, of the Imperial Palace crumbling, of the Kingdom City set ablaze in a scorching hellfire, of Eleanor. He shook his head violently, perishing the thought. The Sword of the North had lifted the heavens in the pursuit of his ambitions. He proven that the naysayers all wrong, all of them, and yet for every day that passed, for every day that he was not giving his all in leading the realm, he was inching his subjects closer to ruin. How could it not when the North continued to be home to scoundrels and opportunists looking to pick up Manitoba's carcass? He glanced over the trembling hand. Clasping the window sill, his tongue was running out, he could feel it. If he was to secure his children's future, he would need to act now, reinstating mass conscription, mustering arms and marching on their lands, insulting the earth until... His thoughts were interrupted. As the doors of his chamber swung open, Eleanor called out to him, Father. He must have made more of a ruckus than he thought. She dashed over to him, walking him back to the bed. I sincerely hope you haven't been skipping your dosages again. Yorkton did not answer. I said, looking up to his daughter, and then as he, as she lowered him down, running his hand over her cheek. Eleanor's pride of starlet, the hopes of the kingdom made him flush. A person who followed brilliance, the alien king did not yet deem ready for masters of statecraft. The naivety and trusting nature of both youth, clouding the sort of ironclad political judgment the harshness of the North called for. Yet you know, someone who would one day inevitably inherit all that he had built. Was the kingdom truly equipped to embrace a ruler with such unshakable vision? Wow, look at all this. And Eleanor, uh, started making her way out of the royal chamber. Yorkton hollered. Eleanor, she turned. Come see me in the morning. We have matters to discuss. Thank you for checking on me. Sleep well. Uh, what was this one? Televisions were new and rare commodities in the kingdom of Manitoba, and yet they held the power to fire up spirits and shake convictions in one own stead. That would certainly be the case for the Manitoba nobility caught out in the middle of the kingdom's favorite nightly comedic skit. For everyone else, a royal call for gathering within the various town bars would have to suffice to them. Gazing upon the realm's first colorized address would prove wondrously enough. Screens across the kingdom flickered for a moment before casting the figure of Eleanor Yorkton sat upon the royal throne, eliciting gasps and chatter from onlookers across the realm. To her left stood Alcandre in gold-plated ceremonial armor holding the crown of Manitoba. To her right, Leif Yorkton, seen in public without the bejeweled headwear for the first time since the fall of the old regime, a serene expression cast across his visage. Eleanor was the first to speak, cementing her authority in the room. Subjects of the Crown, I thank you for the time out of your day to heed my words earlier this month. My father came to me for me of his decision to abdicate the throne. Our reasons are his own, although rest assured the choice was deeply rooted in his desire to best do best by you all. As the next living heir of the House of Yorkton, it follows me to inherit the Crown. She paused for a moment, letting the news simmer. Before I proceed, I wish to fully transparent with all of you. All that we have done up to this point has had the aims of securing the future of the Kingdom. We decided to bring it back to the brink, which so many of you experience on your own skin, but be as a result of the destitution within, or the enemies without. All of you pour blood and sweat in order to help us reach this point, it shall not go unrewarded. From this day forth, the Kingdom of Manitoba will undertake an ambitious program of reform, to build upon what we have achieved, and empower those who have helped us achieve it. I shall work tirelessly day and night to build a society that is just, one that shall strenuously avoid repeating the mistakes of the past, while working towards a brighter future. She solemnly turned to Alcander, nodding. The knight had turned to face her, slowly lowering the crown of the kingdom onto her head. The camera held the angle for a few moments, seconds, the hem of the realm blaring its entirety as the broadcast slowly zoomed out to encompass the royal hall in all splendor before eventually cutting out. As the camera stopped rolling, the new queen turned to her father, who shrugged his shoulders. Should, the, should leave them hanging between words for a little longer, if you ask me. You will get the hang of it eventually. Eleanor smiled at Alcander, concealing a small chuckle. She stood embracing him. Thank you, father. She replied softly, no, thank you. Okay, so there's much to be done. The crown has been passed to Eleanor. Oh my god. She's a placeholder, huh? She's kind of pretty, not gonna lie. Anyways, um. The path of modernity. I've asked Alcander to assemble the royal cabinet. It's best that my intentions be made clear from the outset. Uh, the greatest matter. Some of my questions, after all, I was more than happy to answer. Codify universal education. Oh. Barricades are not both. Oh, okay. Over the course of the years, I've built an extensive network of contacts across the kingdom's education scene. No lobbying or under the tail table deals needed here. I'll make sure Manitoba sees a dream of free public school realized in the old state. Some matters have always said directly with the crown. I shall see to them personally. I'm surprised we have not killed the mafia, but whatever. Not bad. 
So if we to fight them all at the same time, we go do like this. You got 20 because you have that. Uh, all the special forces to lead the way. Um, you guys do this. 19 is not bad. You guys can do that. Uh, and then I'm going to split you guys up. You guys go over there. You guys go there. You guys will go here. Good. For now, I'll train because I know you need to. Um, do, 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 And you know, throw a couple more air bases there. Grappling harpoons, very nice, very nice. Oh, hello. Hello, what are you doing here? Well, someone's going to have to die here. I don't want to fight the Legion, but still, the start of tomorrow. Tobias closed the wooden doors of the meeting room as the final members of the royal cabinet took their seat. Eleanor began to speak. You are all here. Good. <clears throat> I would like to begin this morning's gathering by posing, posing a question. She leaned forward. Most of the attendees were in service. During the outbreak of the war of the First Republican Coalition. Tell me, what stoked the fires of the conflict? Murmur and chatter filled the room, and the unprecedented hint of royal introspection leaving the advisors at a loss. Eleanor quickly uh, caught under the thread of the lively discussion uh, taking place within the room. No, one, no one's answer shall suffice. <clears throat> what we fell victim to are the countless manifestations of institutional malaise, greed, corruption, complacency, the creeping poison of all peacetime regimes. She paused for a moment, letting her cryptic victory all sit with her audience for a moment. For her, this has been a long time coming. The Republicans yearn for political representation. The old believers for a piety that was not forthcoming. The Metas usurpers and escape from what it was in their minds rule with an iron fist. Uh, the cabinet was stunned. In another time, Eleanor's words would have been bordered on conspiracy against the crown, the lands. They once occupied and beyond her back in our possession. How many generations removed from the next charismatic revolutionary are we exactly? She stood from her seat. What I said during my coronation was not empty promises, as I am confident that so many of you assumed. The second you leave this room, every single one of you will be put to work on the Manitoban project. Power decentralization, regional representation, state accountability. These are the only measures available to us to guarantee the kingdom's future for the centuries to come. Her eyes darted from side to side as a heavy silence fell into the room. Any questions? I'm going to murder Iron Alliance. And the greatest matter. Connoisseurs of Ought. Huh. The Knights Council. Nice court in the land. Ooh. Winnipeg in University of Architecture. As the largest pre war regional settlement, Winnipeg was also home to some of Manitoba's most ambitious architecture. What better place to teach future generations how to replicate this grandeur in their hometowns than Royal Institute of Technology? Their acquisition of the former Duchy of Warwick, combined with the technology established from the Manifest facility, has drastically strengthened our capabilities in the field of robotics and electronics, which will treasure its knowledge and ensure it be passed on. Ooh, we need more army speed, don't we? So when can we go to war? Oh, just a little bit. That's not bad. You guys are gonna need some air power. This game just found something. That's good. At least I found something. Still trying to get it ready to go to war with those guys too, so it's all for the long term. Powers of the monarch, but you are beloved by your subjects, your highness, groomed to rule from birth. Protested the royal cabinet advisor, who best to shape the future of our kingdom but you? Ooh, I like that one too. Um, there you go. This will be a lot of land we take in if we actually do it successfully. Uh, we ready to go? We good to go? Good to go? Good to go? Well, let's see what happens. Oh god, there goes the uh, GFX. Hello, are you losing here? You're not allowed to lose. You die. You will die again. I will resurrect you and kill you off myself. Nice. Don't the naval stuff, which is fine. Uh, under prospectors? Sure. 
And now we'll continue doing that there's any bonuses, because that's always good to do. Hello? No, you're not allowed to lose. Wow, we killed off 2600 already. That's actually really fast. That's actually kind of impressive. A little impressive. Are we missing anything here? Technology-wise, Cass. Ooh, anti-tank weaponry. That's different. I was not expecting that. Okay, then. Very nice. The question of royal scent. Eleanor upon the words of the cabinet members. Amid a shakeup of the kingdom's administrative foundations, retaining this region's strong executive powers may be at best, at least in the short term. It would be certainly helpfully help new laws and reforms at a pace. And yet, what are the days she passed? Or the day the fog of old age installed her mind? The royal cabinet had always been composed of some of the best and brightest across the kingdom. Had the time come for the structures of the power to reflect that? After pondering for a moment, she turned her back to her advisor. That may be so. We shall retain royal scent for the most crucial matters of state. But I made my decision. Royal Senate will be replaced with a cabinet vote. There you go. Verify minority rights. Highest court in the land. What other Supreme Court, Your Highness? Judges from the regions are ineligible for appointment, noted the Royal Judicial Advisor, and all equal beneath the law. Well, it is too soon to tell. Uh, what long term impact of the latest rounds of reforms would be, the feedback from the regional governors has been glowing. With just one circle of the pen, we have taken one giantly forward in a pursuit of national cohesion. And I'm going to kill these guys off. All we need are six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing like that. Oh, you guys wanted to come out anyways, that's fine. Boop. Boop. Double action shell design, very nice. Happy November, everybody. Happy, happy November. They're still attacking like crazy, and I love it. Look at that air XP, too. It's shooting up quite a bit. Look, see, ooh. Decent amount right there. Beautiful. Raid, oh, raid repel. Kill yourself, please. I don't know why it just takes away a random general. I don't like that at all. So now you can do this, too. More construction, yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Even the Brotherhood is down here too. Two thousand. Oh, look at that manpower! Whoopsie. Me going in and playing as a democracy in one of our campaigns? Something must have happened to me. Yeah, our Borg market, since we annexed them, they have no longer contributing to the manpower pool, so. What do you expect? Bomb notes? Sure. Oh, they're out of manpower. Good. These guys are almost out. A thousand left. Kind of like us. The final word. That is exactly the problem we face, responded Eleanor. The judges of the capital can count on the best education money can buy, family ties, and tradition to secure the most important post in the legal system. It has made them complacent, less effective. The cabinet member looked at Eleanor in bewilderment. The regent fully aware of his son's unusually rapid career progression in the ministry. She allowed a light smile. And besides, how can we expect to secure newly conquered subjects? Loyalty when representation is not forthcoming. She shook her head. I am instructing the ministry to expand recruitment to the regions. Effective immediately. The advisor darted his gaze away from the queen. Your will shall be made, your highness. In time, they shall take pride in being Manitoban. Oh, look. They just give us a thousand manpower, somehow. Fantastic. Alloy smelting? Sure. Um, 
anything else we need up here? Really? No? Okay. Looking decent, though. What's that? Are they still attacking? Oh, yeah. No, oh, Lost Hills is still attacking. That's fine, whatever. Got all that stuff done. Get that one done. It's be very nice. Spokane operative. Oh, yeah, we still have our operatives here, don't we? Forgot about them. The bag is. I guess uh, that one place down there is gone. It's also tremendous for our XP. I do want to attack, but still. Can you guys attack here? And win? Oh, yeah. Good. The old estate. Even more political power, too. Here it comes. It's fine. Whatever. In times of conflict and instability, the crown was regrettably forced to neglect the kingdom's thriving art scene. With an immediate threat to the realm put to bed, I have taken it upon myself to redirect a small portion of our military spending towards cultural endeavors across the settlements. It is my sincerest hope that our children will never be too close or never have to choose between the rifle over the paintbrush. The Knights Council. As for our formidable, formidable fighting force as it is, the Knights Order has always elect a forum to establish regional commanders to share the latest battlefield experiences and insights with one another. That ends today. I'm not surprised that they have not decided to attack us here yet. But that's alright. Good. And we're done with that. Hey. Let them attack us. Good, good, good. Did they stop attacking us? That's fine. I want to get uh, this effort done first before we try to do a general assault. Can you go here? No. They're going to start attacking us probably, hopefully, wildly here. At least I hope. <clears throat> That'd be nice. Ballast days. Old estate. Kind of says of art. Oh, uh, this one next. Why not? Improved screw mechanisms. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, a new parliament. Decentralization, Your Highness. Inquired the royal regions. Uh, advised sheepishly. The road to the constitutionalism. Having addressed all major concerns in the room, only one glaring question mark remained. Eventually, Tobias spoke up. Your Highness, your efforts to empower your subjects are deeply admirable, but if I may be so daring as to ask, I am ratify minority rights. The practice of royal assent is to be is destined to falter, be it a year or a decade from now, but until that point, it shall serve at least one more noble purpose, that of entrenching the rights of original minorities, whether they protect the cultural wealth of the natives to the north or the legal rights of the Metis people to the south. I'll not stop until all Manitobans are equal before the law. It'll cost what it'll cost. If we hand over the pass in, can we imperialism wait, we'll invite the Iron Confederacy if they're alive to the royal, the royal accord, they'll no longer rule their own nation with the pass will not handed over all instead of getting twenty-five percent court creation reduction on the lands. Aw oh, crap. And as well as the Metis Congress. Well, dang it. Oh well. If you didn't want to get cored, you should have not lost the war. How much money do we have? I've got plenty of money. Ooh, that is not looking ideal. Bring it. Help out. Exactly, which is good. Oh man, they are thick, aren't they? In some locations, we're beating them, we're beating them up quite well, but still. This is the greatest test yet. Lost a thousand, they've lost 13,000. Capitol Hill has fallen, which is fantastic. At least our retreating soldiers will start attacking here too, but there's no point to really attack through here. Especially with how much limited manpower we have. But you said you will win, so... Not you so much, but you. Can you win here? No? Alright. I wanted to see what if you could. Or not. And you couldn't. Let's, uh, let the special forces through. They're really the meat of uh, our military. They're just fantastic. Uh, arms merchant contracts, self sufficient pilots, on the job training, lightning raids, fire technology, uh, interception detection, air technology, oh, this one. The pilots who fight for us generally stick to their own and source their own aircraft and operate efficiently while doing so. Due to this, they usually don't require additional resources and never mediate in local politics. Air support protection, ooh. A dedicated squadron to protect a close air support, guaranteed easier time for troops on the ground. I'm just going to do that one. Yes. 
Plaza Ram, very nice. Connoisseurs of Art. On a gentler Manitoba for a gentler future. On the cold morning, Father came to me. Hmm. North not winning so much. South winning quite a bit more. Looking pretty good. These guys do hit like a dump truck. And he's level six, which is not bad. Could be better. I'm not surprised it's not better than that. So, do we need both? We do need both. So, really, once it's uh, Washington Brothers gone, I'll just be a really good deal. Hey, another you know, fantastic. How many divisions do they have? 134? That's actually quite a few. Good. Eventually, once you can split them, that'd be great. The Maw. down here. Really trying to beat us up. 8, 13. Still quite a few in Spokane. I'm not going to really be worried about that too much. Um, what are we doing right now? The Parliament. It's fine. 8,000 is not bad. 8,000. Because I would like to go that way too. Spring buffer mechanisms. Nice. So, once this, this area is cleaned up, ooh, contact loss, not good. Um, it'll be easier to move through all the stuff. I know they have a port and whatnot, but still. Keep them in place. Kill off those divisions. There you go. Of a former parliament. Indeed, replied Eleanor. Uh, for much of the conviction I, ho I hold in my belief, she said, let out a small chuckle. Oh. I am merely human, as will all be my successors. The cabinet seem intrigued. The previous regions never claimed divine rule, right to rule, yet none of them have been so quick to shatter that illusion as Eleanor. The chains that hold the kingdom together must be made more resilient to that end. I'll introduce an elected chamber to host representatives from throughout Manitoba's regions. The brows of the men at the table furrowed. Just how far would she be able to push it? Eleanor paused for a moment, observing the inqui inqui inquisitive looks of her cabinet. For the first time since the dawning of the crown, she was slightly taken aback. The new chamber shall be given the power to propose new laws. A mere act of citizens form. Yeah. It makes sense. We are just all over the place here, aren't we? It's fine. It happens. Up out. Go. And these guys are coming back out, which is not ideal. So I need you guys to start walking here. And I need you to do this too. You guys can start doing this too. You might be the one, you might not. So, we'll see. See what the Spec Ops can do. Move in. Take as much territory as you possibly can. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Shells, good. Get in there. Find and beat the crap out of them. Hey, we got there faster than they did. Fantastic. And... Are you going to go in there eventually, or what? There you go. Nice. Very good. Unit training would be good, nice as well. Deposits are good, thank you. Good. That should help us out a little bit. Thank goodness, they have infamy, that's fine. Get so cool more stuff here. What are you doing here? Can you like hurry up and kill these guys off? Go. Move faster. Um. There we go. 
There you go. Black powder extinguisher is not bad. It's fine. It doesn't matter to me too much. Hey, we're actually pushing it. Look at that. Are you going? I'm gonna wait for that just a little bit. You guys are all moving around here still, getting cut off and whatnot. Oh my god, you are really getting cut off, aren't you? Jesus Christ. That's not ideal. Go here, cut him off. Who should be allowed to vote? An inevitable question, really. Political representation is only as effective as those who wield it. The people of Manitoba never knew self rule, and as a predecessor's press, censorship efforts certainly did not help matters. Besides, uh, will the landed gentry stand for such a drastic dilution of power in one fell swoop? And yet, conditions have never been riper. The popularity of the crown was at an all time high, the new regent enjoyed uh, the political fruits of her father's uh, battlefield successes. What better time to rip off the nation's band aid? Oh, citizens of Manitoba? Financially self sufficient. Hard working landowners. Oh, well, hard working landowners, that makes sense to me. Find and beat the crap out of them. There you go. That's going better already. Keep moving and growing and doing. Got a losses, that's fine. Don't let him move. We're still getting there. I knew this would be a big old war. I didn't expect it to be last this long though. Good. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. How many lost? Two thousand? Yeah, roughly so. Going. Electric City would be nice to have. Good, good, good. If you could capitulate them, that'd be fantastic. There you go. That's what I said. Hey, there you go. Nice. See what happens. Home of the future. Robotic extraction. We've lost yeah, probably 3,000 really in the end. We killed off 33,000, which is fantastic. Special Forces are just amazing. Love me, Special Forces. I don't think you got really much to do against us at this point. Fantastic. Should muster defense. Looking pretty good. I guess we don't necessarily have to take out these guys if we don't really want to. It'd be nice. Looking to the horizon. Uh, yeah. Are you guys in the same group? You are. Leaf York and walked out onto the palace, palace balcony. Eleanor was already out there taking advantage of a brief gap in her schedule to marvel at the sight of the capital, a uh, city of the unusually clear sky morning. Uh, Leaf tightened his scarf so he shuffled over to his daughter's side. Might want to stop by the armory later. I think some of the newer squires are getting a bit too comfortable with the lunch breaks. She smirked at him, duly noted. He leaned onto the handrail, staring off into the middle distance for a moment before turning back to his daughter. Will they come for us sooner or later? Eleanor replied calmly. And when they do, they will find their match, he shook his head. Thinking out a small chuckle, not if those rifles don't get polished. She lightly, gra 
but grabbed Eleanor by the shoulders, looking up and down at her from head to toe. She laid out her hand on his, her smile widening. Leaf stepped back, waving his finger at her. Do not let your head get too big. You have rocked the boat too vigorously, if you ask me. His visage grew harsher. Ne Love never trumps fear, Eleanor. It will do you good to remember that, especially on the day I'm no longer here to remind you. The queen repl replied inquisitively. Until then, Leaf responded, I'll help you carry this burden, no matter what. He waved his walking stick. Uh, already got enough legs to stand on as is. The twangs of the to uh, town square bell echoed in the distance. It was a brand new day in the kingdom. Look at that. Fantastic. Long live the queen. Long live Manitoba. More stability, research speed, civilian construction speed. The architect of Manitoba's future. Amazing. Oh, you know what the Tri-Cities do. You can do that one. Okay, why not? Honestly, yeah, we really don't need to um, take them out. We're looking pretty good. I think we've done very well. Manitoba, I, I, you know, I don't know my Canadian geography that well. But I think we have, uh, well, united a little bit more than... Uh, what was supposed to be Manitoba. But regardless, I thoroughly enjoyed this campaign. I didn't think this campaign would be as detailed or as interesting as it would when I initially th uh, set out to play it, but it turned out to be, honestly, one of my favorite campaigns in, uh, in a long while, really. This was so much fun, especially when you start off and you're just trying to, like, survive. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, if we ate up the night Midnight Union, that would be fine, but still. And that's the last part of Man Montana, too. So, like, we're, we got all Manitoba under us, which is great. Let me look at that. Royal purple. But, hey... If you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, check out Oro Blues for yourself if you haven't before. And uh, the mod update will be releasing for everyone on uh, February 28th, 2024. Thanks for watching, and have a great royal rest of your day.